And we're happy to welcome PA Live political analyst David Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. He's here today to talk about primary election day. David, what's been different about the election cycle this time around? Well, first off, it's an off-year election. And, but the most important thing is that it's an open seat for the Wilkes-Barre Mayor's Office. And, he, and in Lackawanna County, because of Corey O'Brien leaving the position at the Lackawanna County Commissioner's Office, that's an open seat too. Anytime you have an open seat, it makes the election theoretically more interesting because people are looking to get behind a candidate that possibly wants to advance or has never run for office before. And then we've seen Patrick O'Malley switch parties, going right. from Republican to Democrat. Do you expect that? any fallout from that? Well, at first I thought I did, right? Because anytime you switch from one party to another, uh, there are ramifications, but O'Malley has acquitted himself very well, and he may very well be the top vote getter in um, Lackawanna County because of his strong ties to uh, the city of Scranton. It's certainly a race we're covering today. We're very interested in that. What else do you consider to be some of the big races? In our well, area? one of the things is that if I could expound on the Lackawanna County race just yes. for a second, you know, we have somebody from the Mid Valley, Tom Lucas Savage, that's running, and you also have uh, from, uh, you know, the O'Forge area, uh, Mr. Wonsack. So I think you're going to see a very close race between those three because, um, you know, Mr. Lucas Savage is going after the, uh, um, uh, the the energy vote, you know. I mean, he's saying that uh, the um, um, current commissioners haven't really talked that much about the energy thing that's going on up in the Jessup area. Mm -hmm. Now, big races, you talked about the Wilkesbury mayor's race. Mm -hmm. That is going to be uh, probably a nail biter between Tony George and uh, George Brown. Uh, there are two other candidates, Darlene Duggan's Magalinski, as well as uh, Brian Kelly. But these two are running very different campaigns, but it's all centered on crime. Who better to fight crime in the Wilkes-Barre area and what's going to happen in the future? Right, and we have key mayoral races in Hazleton and Williamsport, too, we're keeping an eye on. Let's talk about the money spent in the races, especially the Wilkes-Barre and Hazleton mayor races. Well, it's different. You know, Wilkes-Barre, basically, I think the combined spending for the four people is about $100,000. And when you think about the turnout, the turnout is probably going to be less than like 6,000 people. 6,000 people are going to decide the who, who the next mayor of Wilkesbury is going to be, six to maybe 7,000 people. Um, th they've spent money on just about everything. George Brown this weekend had a, uh, uh, a biplane saying stop crime in Wilkesbury. Tony George has been doing a lot of signs, and they're all doing flyers, and it's they're spending a lot of money. The most happy people on Election Day are going to be the ad people and the people who make those signs. In Hazleton, the yes. people who are running for mayor, there's a whole lot of signs up in the city of Hazleton, and those candidates are going to be uh, Joe Yunuzzi and Jeff Cassette on the Republican side, and on the Democratic side, uh, you have Grace Cuzo and um, Mr. Mundy, Mr. We're Jack Mundy. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about any predictions for this race. No, I make no predictions at all. You're a good man. And the Why influence the vote? <laughs> the polls are still open. Well, right? and also the reason is I, um, I think the races are going to be close, um, and but I don't make predictions in local elections because anything can happen. A lot of it's going to be turnout. Who is going to turn out? What candidates get the turnout? Ten seconds. Tell us about the tie. The tie. Come together, the Beatles. Okay, anybody who's out there that has not voted yet. Come together, go vote. It's easy. He's the man behind the LULAC political letter. Nine years strong, David Yonkai, our PA Live political analyst. David, thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy to be here, Mark. Thanks.